Now, if we look at the hive that's been opened, the bottom half of the hive, you can actually see there's eggs there, and you can see some queens there, some queen cells. See those bigger eggs? They're the queen cells. It's interesting, they, this hive isn't filled with food. So there's a bit of pollen here, you can see some pollen. And you can sort of see sort of where it's liquid, that's honey. Now that normally shouldn't be liquid. Normally it should be, like it should be liquid as honey, but you shouldn't be able to see it. It should be in a sealed container. So when we take the hive apart, we do do uh, some collateral damage. So we've actually split some honey pots. So the bees sort of um, are going to have to repair all of that. And that's why giving them a top that's already got resin in it actually helps the bees. It's perhaps not something that we find aesthetic, but it's actually good for them. So it's just gonna go, oops, we'll just try and... Excellent. So, I mean, this is how easy splitting a hive is. This was as difficult as it gets. When the egg mass doesn't pull away nicely, that's where you can panic. That's where you can think, oh my God, it's all too difficult, I'm gonna stop. So what we did, we just got a knife, we just cut it. They're very, very resilient. If you just relax, take your time, like uh, these bees uh, can really recover. The only thing that's gonna potentially be a problem is this small hive beetle. But inside the hive, they have fantastic defenses. They've got a whole sort of warren of resin that sort of everything has to navigate through to get into the hive. Small hive beetle's gonna try and get in. Small hive beetle's gonna be very disappointed. What happens is the bees trap them and incorporate them into the hive itself. A very fitting death. What I'm going to do now is place this hive back on the deck. That means all the field bees are going to start pouring into it and the hive should be able to recuperate very quickly. It's got defences against small hive beetle in the form of resin. So I, although I love all insects, I want that known, I love all insects. There's just one, one in particular that I really, really hate just at the moment. And that's small hive beetle. And it's probably because I just don't understand it properly. It's probably got a fantastic mum and dad and I really should connect with it. But at the moment, I really hate the small hive beetle because the small hive beetle can kill this hive. Okay, so I'm now going to move this hive back to its proper location. Oh, Liz, can you grab the uh, top half of the hive for me? Yeah, you can watch the bees starting to pour in. Mission accomplished. Well done, Liz. A lot of people, when they first get their hive, they're thinking, let's put it at the back of the yard where it can pollinate better next to the veggies. Mistake. The bees fly half a kilometre. What you really want is to connect with the bees. You want to see them active. You want to see them bring the pollen back. You want to have a relationship with them. This can't happen unless they're around you. This, this hive is in a perfect location. Thanks for watching Virotube. This really has been a how to split your beehive. It's a very straightforward process and I think you can see that. It's something that should be done. Ideally in Sydney, you should do it around September, October. November is starting to get a bit late. Hope you've learned a lot from it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.